Hi everyone, welcome back to Tinkercad Basics. This week I'm going to show you how to make a Among Us character using simple shapes that we get in Tinkercad. So for this one I'm going to just show you the most basic character there is, um, and then using the tools we've discussed in the past couple weeks, I'll leave you to figure out how to make the Bitten character and the Imposter character. So we're going to talk about um, alignment tools, changing the work plane, the ruler, and the how to break this down into basic shapes. So let's get started. So I'm back on my home page. I'm just going to hit create new design and that will take me to a blank work plane, as you can see right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to Google Among Us character. And we can just see from the images here, the Among Us characters are pretty simple shapes, um, but we can see here, we can probably use mostly just cylinders for a lot of the shapes that we need. So let's get started on that. I'm going to pull out a cylinder for the body and increase that. But since the bodies aren't perfectly round, I'm going to use the grips make it more of an oval shape. Next thing I want to do is I want to bevel this so we get more roundness in our shape and increase the number of sides so we get something that's really round. Looking back at this, we can see the head, the top of the head is a little bit more round than the rest of it. So what we can do is we can actually put a half sphere on top. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to go to the work plane tool here and you can pull this out and place it anywhere on your model. And so I place it on the top and now when I place a half sphere, I get it right where I need it. And now I'm just going to make this so it matches up with the edges of the top of my shape. And then I'll just make sure these are all centered. So I selected both of my shapes and I'm just going to align them. That looks good. And when you want to reset your work plane, you can just grab it and place it anywhere. So let's group that. That looks good. And now we want to make the mask part, little eye part of our design. And for that, we're going to use the half sphere. And using our arrows, we're just going to rotate this 90 degrees so it's standing up. And this use our grips to resize it so we get something Let's change the color so it actually looks like what we want. And we can just resize that until we get something that looks similar enough to the design we want. We can also align this it's right in the center. All right, that looks good. And we can do the same thing for our jetpack as we did for the body. 
So a lot of this is just going to be our cylinder. You can probably also downsize your cylinder in a way that instead of using the half sphere, you could probably replace it with a cylinder instead. This is a little bit more square than what we had with the half sphere. But we can add that bevel again and increase the size. So it's up to you how you want your mask part of your Among Us character to look. I kind of like this a little bit better. And we'll recenter that. So now we can work on our jetpack. So we're going to use pretty much the same shape as the other ones. Increase our side so it's round, bevel it, and increase the segments. Now we want to make this very thin, pretty small. And move it the back of our model. All right, that all looks good. And again, we'll probably just do a cylinder again for the legs. Same thing as before, we'll increase the sides, we'll bevel it, and we'll increase our segments. So now, I'm going to move, oops, don't forget to group things. Select all your items and group those. And I'm also going to make this so it's multicolor. And copy and paste it once you get the look you like. And you need to make sure the legs are right in the center of the model by, again, using the align tool. And it looks like they are right in the center. So that is perfect. All right, so we can group all those together. Now, if I wanted to 3D print this, I can export it as usual. And I'll stick with an STL file. So I'll download that. And for this one, you are going to want some supports just because there is a lot of space under here. We do recommend supports for angles that are over 50 degrees. So this would be a 90 degree angle, so you definitely want uh, some supports under there, otherwise your model will collapse. Um, and it's probably not a bad idea to get uh, some supports for the jetpack as well. All right, and before I leave you to figure out how to do the cutouts we talked about, I'll quickly show you how to do the bitten off character and then leave you to figure out how to do the imposter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to ungroup 
the jet pack. from the rest of this. And I'm gonna start off by using a box to do a cutout. You wanna make sure you have your whole shape inside the box. And now we're gonna group that. So we're gonna get a cut out here. And then you're gonna grab your cylinder, put it on its side, and change it a little bit, change the size. And again, make sure that you have your whole shape in your uh, cutout. And we'll just copy and paste these and move them along the entirety of our model. All right, so now we can group all of that. So just the body, I'm hitting shift and clicking all of my shapes and grouping those. All right, so you can see that we went a little bit too far down and we didn't actually group our legs into the cutout. So what we can do, we can actually just move these up a little bit. And you will have to rearrange them. Nothing wrong with that. and select shift and click all the items you want in your cutout. And there we go. Now, I'll leave you to figure out how to create the bone that you saw in some of the art from Among Us that goes right in the middle here, and how to use cutouts and the copy paste function to create the imposter. And for this one, you'll want the same sort of idea for uh, 3D printing. You will need supports under the body and under the jetpack still. Hey, thank you for joining me for Tinkercad Basics. Um, I hope this was helpful in learning some of the basic tools of Tinkercad. Um, you can definitely check back this summer. and We'll have more 3D modeling programs and we will be launching our 3D remote printing very soon. You can check our social media for updates on that. And thank you for joining me again. See you soon. Bye.